हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइट गेज स्ट्रक्चर्स सो नाउ एज नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द लाइट गेज स्ट्रक्चर बेसिकली दिस गेज इज द यूनिट ऑफ द थिकनेस सो विद द name of this light gaze that means the we are using our uh, we are using the sections which are having less thickness so that we can achieve our goal now particularly here i will tell you something about the this gauge that the thickness particularly as we know that with the increasing uh, of any unit then what will happen that the uh, we can say that the if suppose we are comparing any unit let's say 1 meter or 2 meter so 1 meter is less than 2 meter okay but in case of the gauge here it is the reverse or we can say that if we are talking about that our uh, structure or our plate is 16 mm uh, sorry 16 gauge or 18 gauge so that means the uh, 16 gauge is the much thicker than the 18 gauge so that is a particularly unit that is having a reverse order so now we comes to the our light gauge structures so what is the need of this light gauge structures generally we used as a hot rolled sections so in which the process involved in the manufacturing is that uh, uh, when we extract the ore from the uh, mining and then we purify that and after purifying we uh, this boxes uh, of the solid boxes are uh, get and that boxes again melted to form a desired shape the desired shape may be the i section that may be the channel section that may be the angle section that may be the circular pipe section that may be the rectangular hollow sections that may be the square hollow sections so these are all made up uh, or called as the hot rolled section because the heating is involved in this process so due to the heating there is a special type of stresses that is called as the residual stresses is formed which is uh, affect negatively on our stresses because as for example when uh, if suppose uh, a smith or a lohar is uh, uh, hammering any uh, heated plate uh, at that time there will be the surface cracks will appear on the surface and that will reduce the strength but in the case of the light gauge structures that is generally uh, manufactured by the cold form uh, process so in the cold form process whatever the solids of any uh, iron then we cut it into the Uh, thinner plates the thickness of the plate may be the point 8 mm 1 mm 2 mm and maximum the 4 mm so we can describe our uh, this uh, 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 thickness of this light gauge structures is generally varies from the point 8 mm to 4 mm now we comes to the our part where we can use this type of our structure we can use it at three locations so uses first we can use as a framing system framing system means we are using the members at the location of the beam or uh, beams so that is called as the framing or sometimes we can use it at the location of the columns so the use that means beam or column next is the flooring system so as we know that the uh, area of the flooring system is much much more so we use uh, we place the our uh, this light gauge uh, members in the planner uh, way and then we will uh, use the uh, 
this uh, concreting, lightweight concreting and other flooring material we can use. So we will discuss it here. So that is the flooring system. Next one is the wall cladding system. Where we have already constructed a walls but we have to protect from any thing. So at that time we generally use this type of members also. So now what is the range of the thickness? Generally this is the range of around 1.2 to 4 mm. This is around 1.2 to around 2.5 mm. And here we generally use a thin uh, 0.8 to 1.2 mm. So this is the usage of the light gauge structures. Now. During the manufacturing process, there is the no uh, this uh, there is no residual stresses are generated or produced, so that we generally uh, have two different Indian standards to design this types of light gauge structures. One is the IS 801 that is gives the general guidelines to design the. Uh, this uh, light gauge structure so these give the guidelines and next one is the IS811 that give the specifications of different sections okay now we comes to our uh, this uh, uh, different shapes. Which type of different shapes we generally use in the different shapes? So first for the this framing system. So there may be the different types of shapes, one first is the let's say in this process we generally do not uh, using the any type of uh, heating process. So at that time we generally simply bend the uh, readily available plates. So that is the first let's say we can turn our plate in the channel sections, another may be the we can this turn this uh, plates in a in this manner we can form this jet shape or we can form jet shape with the sorry. so this part is called as the lip basically this provides the stiffness so in the next we will discuss it so this is the uh, another form maybe the this U type, this may be the another type, this is another type and sometimes if we require a I section, so we generally combine two channel sections with the help of the spot welding. So these are the uh, these are the small types of, uh, these are the different framing uh, 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 shapes. We, so these are the basic uh, shapes that is generally used for the framing systems. So this is simply channel sections and here we have only modified that we have provided a lip only. This is the jet type sections and this is the jet type, uh, jet type sections with the lip. This is the U, uh, we can say that the inverse U and there is we have provided the lip with different manners. Now if we want to use the I section then we will generally uh, combine two channel sections 
and that after that we provide a spot welding only so these are the different shapes generally we use in the framing systems now it comes to the, our flooring systems So now flooring systems so there may be the less span or medium span or the larger span so for the uh, shorter oblique medium span we generally use the following types of shapes so here the V, here the U and sometimes there we the. So these generally three types of uh, sh uh, shapes we generally use for the shorter to medium spans that means around 4 to 5 meter maximum. But if suppose span is greater than 4 to 5 meter, then we go for the So these here the depth of roofs are generally um, around um, 50 to 60 mm and the spacing is around 120 to 140 mm but here this depth is much greater that is the around 100 to 150 mm and again this distance is also uh, greater this is also the 200 to 300 mm now in the flooring systems we generally the thickness which uh, will vary depends upon the span of the this flooring systems if suppose span is less then we can use the less thickness of the this uh, light gauge sections and if the uh, span is much more then we will provide the greater thickness of the sections now after that there are the so many advantages of this uh, shapes so we can generally use the this uh, here we can fill the sound absorbing material here this is the one example and uh, sorry one uh, advantage another advantage is that we can provide the lighting here so lighting another is we can use the lightweight concrete so that overall weight of our structure can be less and ultimately our structure will be uh, will have the light design or it will be the economical so there are the so many advantages of this uh, uh, type of construction that is the speedy construction we can achieve the economical and there will be the much more accuracy and we can construct at any time so these are the different advantages for the wall systems we generally used uh, uh, plain type of sheets sometimes there may be the groove small groups and it is generally uh, anchor, anchor fast we use fasteners to uh, fix the uh, that uh, system to the walls so these are the different types of walls uh, sorry uh, systems now we comes to the some definitions related to the light gauge structures so there are the uh, three main uh, so there are the three main definitions first is the Stephen 
compression flange so what is this meaning basically let's say this is a shape here it is a lip so this is a compression flange where there are the two members two parallel members of the stresses generally generated and at the both ends so how we can define the stiffen compression flange the member uh, member having the uh, stiffened uh, legs parallel to the stresses that provide the stiffness to the member so that is the stiffen uh, compression flange where this one and two are the members that is providing the stiffening to the our member so that is called as the uh, stiffen compression flange in the <coughs> un uh, stiffen uh, so <coughs> this is the our example of this un stiffen because in this case there is only one uh, element or member that is providing the stiffening but at the other end there is no member that is providing the stiffness or to this compression flange so that's why this is called as the unstiffened compression flange now we come to the next definition that is the multiple stiffened compression flange multi sorry multi stiffen for example let's say this is our Uh, compression flange where we have provided this 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 as a uh, stiffen so these are providing the stiffness to our this compression flange so at that time this is called as the multi stiff uh, stiffen compression flange so and uh, this is all about the introductory of the our light gauge structures if you want to design the this light gauge structures then you can refer the indian is 800 is 801 is 811 and you can refer any textbook so thank you all so uh, if you have any doubt any query then you can ask me uh, through the comments uh, in the uh, given in the comment box of the youtube channel